How's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Spurverts. This is part one. I'm joined by Reese James. Hello. And Emma Story. Hello. We have the dream team, <laughs> the original dream team. All right, let's get into the first topic West Bromwich Albion game. What's your thoughts, Emma? It wasn't the greatest game. It was a very stressful 90 minutes to watch. Like, we weren't at our best. They played very well. We were kind of hanging on a bit towards the end as well, which was not good fun at all. Hugo made a worldy save, which uh, I think saved us our point. The thing is, I'm going to put it out there and say it's not the worst point in the world because and I know you're eyeing me up here because I know you're going to rant about this in a minute. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. But the thing is, is in the context of the weekend, the context of City losing, Liverpool losing, United drawing, yeah. it's actually OK. It's not ideal and I really, really need think we do need to start winning, but um, I'm going to take it. I, personally, I think it's two points dropped. Reese, what's your opinion? Yeah, before the game, I certainly would have said it was two points dropped. Uh, by about the 60th minute, I was thinking, I will absolutely take a point here. Because mm. they were, Vertonghen was getting run rings around him by Rondon. Yeah. Uh, Dyer had a bad game. They should, Dyer made a mistake that led to the goal. He just sort of switched off. I don't know if he made it. But I just think they threatened so much. Yeah. They had so many chances that they, sh they, they, they could feel like it's two points dropped at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So I'd say a draw was pr probably a fair result for the game. It's disappointing. Christian Eriksen, are you out there, mate? Haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Where are you? You've got your Where new hairline. Are you? What the hell? <laughs> Come on, man. Put your socks up. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about <laughs> Deli Ali's goal, his oh, performance. Deli. I mean, he's just putting in a shift right Ali now, isn't he? I just, I, he just makes me smile. Literally, even every time he touches the ball, he makes me smile. This boy is amazing. Like, I'm just so excited for him. And Roy Hodgson was obviously at West Brom on Saturday to see him. He was quite happy. He's up at games where it, Deli Ali's playing. I wonder why that could be. I wonder, I just, I I just why. <laughs> um, race Gerard. There's no one else that Hodgson should watch except Spurs now. Forever. This is true. Yeah. Who else is going to get in the England team? It'll just be, it'll just be Spurs. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Harry Winks will be in there soon as well, and Tom Carroll. Yeah, all he needs to do is have about a million protein shakes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get, get juice in, Harry. <laughs> and then you can make the squad. All right, another person that performed very well, Hugo Lloris. Oh, and Hugo. a very important yeah. save, point blank range. Oh, my God. I mean, I really thought it was game over when that shot came in. When it, when it connected. <laughs> when it came in, it, it was so close in, I just thought there's just no way he's going to save this. And somehow... It's been a couple of weeks now of those. Chelsea, yeah. Eden Chelsea, Hazard's yeah, one. Yeah, and it's a bit like... It's worrying. It is a bit worrying because we were all so sure, we were all so certain about yeah. our, our centre backs, and they are still great. But Jan didn't have a great game at the weekend. No, but I mean, as I said, you know, Dyer didn't have a great game either. Like it was one of those days where, unfortunately, if more than one of your players is a little bit off, yeah. it's going to be difficult for you. And it really, really was yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. I feel like set pieces are a bit of a, a weak spot. But the they moment. always have they been. Are. But they always have been. We've never been good yeah. at defending set pieces. Yeah. Come on. We need to. We need to kind of address this. I don't. I don't know. Like, because like, people will just clock onto it and just start whipping balls in constantly. I mean, how can we address it? I imagine they're trying to address it. I yeah, I wouldn't have thought they're just I ignoring imagine, it. Imagine <laughs> You'd think so, but I mean, it, every week it's the I'd same say thing. If we're aware of it, Poch is probably aware of it. I would think. And he's he probably is. doing something to sort it out. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just. The, we're height. We're not the yeah. tallest of teams. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't that short. But yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. All right, that's let's talk short. about the Hugo's FA Cup draw. Yes. Leicester. 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 Thoughts? Future league champions <laughs> taking what? us on. This is amazing. I'm what? sorry. I'm excited about Leicester doing so it's well a at the moment. Game. I Suddenly love it. It's become, it's a, become huge, a big game. Huge game. Vardy and Morris will hopefully be injured by then. <laughs> well, you never hopefully. Know. You never know. That's, that's, exactly. That's what, how good Leicester are. That's our only hope is that, is that Morris and Vardy are injured. Do you know what so really worried me it. as well about Leicester at the weekend was the fact that we all said, oh, Jamie Vardy's got to stop scoring. Yeah, Jamie Vardy has stopped scoring. But Rio Morris pops up with a hat trick. Do you I think, mean, uh, God. Do you think Vaughan's going to start in goal? I hope to God not. No. <laughs> yeah. I hope. He's still on my blacklist. He's never coming off. That was one of the reasons he's on your blacklist, isn't it? That game against Leicester. Yeah. yeah. Cup last Pretty year. much. Yeah, yeah. Schlup, personally, personally, I'd like to see us play a strong team in the FA Cup. I would like us to of win course. the FA Cup. Yeah. So, well, you know, we've got Leicester in the Cup and then we've got Leicester, Leicester in, in the league, league four I know. days later. But so. the weird thing is with Leicester is they're probably possibly for the first time ever, going to prioritise the league, I would have thought, above the cup. So they might actually play a little bit of a weak side if they've got us three days later. If they get through this horrendous December they've now got. Which one do you want to win more? Do you want to win the league game? Oh, the game you, can't, uh, you can't ask me that now when we're at this stage. Ask me that in January. Ask right. me that when it's... I can't, I can't answer that now <laughs> because right, I don't I'll know where we're going to be I'll in the league. I'll ask you that in January. Ask me that in January. <laughs> Could that game be the turning point maybe? Barnaby's kind of made a prediction saying that could be the game where we leapfrog them. Right, that could be the week. What will we beat him in the cup, and then we take, we go past them in the league. In the league, yeah. Could They've got a tough run in. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how they do in the next few weeks because they've got a really tough run yeah. in. And if they still end up top after that, then we 
I mean, everyone's got to get serious about They saying, do have to get serious. I think they have to get really. serious now. I actually do. I, I'm so impressed by them. It's ridiculous. All right, guys, so this has been part one of Smurverts. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. Let us know in the comments below what you think about what we've discussed today. And uh, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And keep it casual, please. Come on, follow Hello, welcome to Spurverts part two. I'm still here with Craig and Emma. This time, we got some transfer news to kick us off. The Daily Mail say that Spurs...